Hello. Today I am doing a video with audio comparison of two home studio microphones in the $100 to $130 price range. The first microphone is the Audio-Technica AT2020 USB, not the Plus version. I think it goes for approximately $100, give or take. And the Blue Yeti, it goes for slightly more. Um, it is also USB, and it has some features that the AT2020 does not. I'll be playing some acoustic guitar and singing. Uh, before we do that, let's take a closer look at the two microphones. The first microphone is the Audio-Technica AT2020. It is slighter in build. I'm not sure that's necessarily a disadvantage. It's probably the diaphragm inside that really makes the difference. Um, the stand is also slighter, and that does have a disadvantage with it. If you do not line up the microphone with one of the legs, so that the microphone is sitting directly over at least one of the legs, then the microphone will topple forward. So make sure when you're setting that up that you have one of the three legs that are rather spidery underneath. The Blue Icicles stand is very, very sturdy and robust. And indeed, the Yeti seems to be a very sturdy and robust microphone as well. Also, there are some features that are not found on the Audio Technica. This one here is volume. So you can plug a headphone into the microphone. You plug your USB into your laptop, and whether you're using GarageBand or whatnot, if you have existing tracks, they will come out on your headphone with this volume, which will adjust a mix for you, as well as what you're playing currently. So it does gives you the feature of automatically doing a zero latency mix for you, as well as letting you hear what you play. That's an advantage to me. On the back as well, there's a couple of features. This bottom dial lets you choose your pattern. You can have bi-directional, cardioid, omnidirectional, or stereo. I've done cardio, since the AT is cardio, so that we're comparing apples with apples, essentially. As well as a gain, so that you can adjust how strongly it's picking up the signal. Alright, so there's our two microphones, and we will go ahead and start the sound. It's been a couple weeks since we did the original comparison between the AT2020 and the Yeti by Blue. I really felt like both mics did an excellent job of capturing acoustic guitar and the nuances of the voice. The Yeti had some features that I really felt were very beneficial. The zero latency monitoring, the ability to hear yourself as you sang. However, ultimately, upon critical listening, to the two tracks, I felt like the AT2020 captured the top end 
but with slightly more openness. Both mics were accurate in capturing the room, but the AT2020 allowed my voice to sound a little breathier, and more noticeably, the strings had what I would have called a little bit of glisten on them that helped give the guitar an attractive sound that I felt that the Yeti lacked. Both mics, I feel, deserve five stars for doing an excellent job of capturing audio, putting it straight to a computer for a very modest price. Ultimately, I returned both mics because I wanted that openness in the AT2020, but I couldn't live without the features that were found on the Yeti, so I have spent the extra money to step up to the AT2020 Plus model. It has the headphone out, zero latency monitoring. I'm assuming that the audio that it captures is at least as good as the AT2020 base model. I'll play a little bit of the song so we can all do a uh, comparison. and wonder why If and you don't know by now There ain't no use I Sit and wonder why That it never do somehow When your rooster crows Crack a dawn Look out your window, honey baby I'll be gone You're the reason I'm a traveling on Don't think twice, it's alright There ain't no Calling out my name Like and you never Done before Ain't no use In calling out my name, sweet girl Well, I can't hear you anymore 